Llamaron al vicepresidente. The consul is supposed to have Chilean jurisdiction, okay, and no. we're supposed to. But, but, but for, right? yes, you do. But the thing is, for what that lady just told me that went upstairs, I'm asking you to wait down here. We are with the lady. We are with the lady. Okay. She's our friend, and we need to. Let me explain something to you. I asked about some signs that you guys are holding up outside. I, I'm not having any signs. Okay, we you don't have any signs. They went up, you'll wait right here. It's really important to document. You, you will wait right here. No, no. I don't want to hear no. You will wait right here. No, no, you wait right here. If you, if you, no, if you try to get by me, I'm going to have to detain you in this lobby. I will detain you also. Now step back. You push any we further. The right you do not have the right. We are citizens. That, that's fine. But I'm, I'm directing you to stay yeah. here. Call the, call the lady. Go back and wait. wait. Wait, wait. Call Listen, the lady. Listen, I'm directing you to stay here. No, no. If you attempt to Are go you back, from the I'm... Chilean consulate or, or what? But what is your role here? Are you here? telling us whether no. we can go there? What is your role here? Step back out the door. No, I'm sorry. We came here to go yeah, to the consulate. Like step back out the door. Could you tell us what's going on? This is a public building. Could you tell us what's going on? We came here to because there's repression going on in Chile against the Mapuche people. And severe and repression, and one of them was just framed and uh, under an anti-terrorist law, and he's one of the leaders of the of his community. And we came here to protest, but protest peacefully and to talk to them, basically talk to the the Chilean consulate about it and present two letters. Um, one of us who went up has one of the letters. I wrote the other letter, but they're not letting me go up to the consulate. I don't know why. If you don't step out of the building, you're going to be arrested for trespassing. Stop right. Come on. Get the fuck out of the building. Get the fuck out of the building. Jack, look. Get the fuck out of the building. Jack, Get out of the building, dude. Jack, I ain't playing no games with you. Jack, Jack, I ain't playing no games with you. We're media. We're media, man. We're media. I ain't playing no games with you. We're media, man. We're media. We're journalists, man. Don't put your hands on me! Don't put your hands on me! We are journalists, man. We're journalists. You're disrespecting my, my building. It's not your building. You know you are building. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. It is not your building. delegation of people here. It wasn't a major demonstration. There was nobody threatening anybody. There was, you know, but that's basically the, the state of the national security system that fear, fears common citizens, uh, even Chilean citizens, in fact, who both Chilean citizens were trying to uh, go into the consulate but were denied entry. What we're here about is particular what happened most recently, which is what happened in May 12th in Chile. Uh, there was a demonstration on May 12th, and um, it was uh, the families of the political prisoners demanding the release of the Mapuche political prisoners. And on the 13th, early morning hours and dawn, the home of Waikilef Canfunao was raided. And a former Bay Area journalist, a friend of ours actually, Alejandro Stewart, from La Peña del Sur, he was detained uh, temporarily, but all of his material, phot photography equipment and computer equipment and archives of the past 35 years was stolen. Uh, and has confiscated by the police, basically, and has have not been returned. At the same time, um, the Waikilev Kalfunao has been um, Waikilev Kalfunao has been charged with um, having explosives uh, underneath his bed, nitroglycerin, to be exact. Uh, but there were several witnesses during the raid of Waikilev Kalfunao's home that. Um, witnessed the fact that the investigations police, PDI, was uh, bringing in material instead of uh, it, basically bringing in material that had not been there previously to the raid. We're also primarily concerned because there is a particular law that is still being implemented in Chile that is inherited from the Pinochet regime, a law, the anti-terrorist law, which uh, is akin to military tribunals where people cannot face their accusers. Uh, they're behind a, a dark window, they can't uh, be uh, counter-interrogated. And the Mapuche community has been selectively repressed and selectively um, attacked. The leaders in particular, Waikilev Kafnao, who is in jail. Uh, she's been in jail for the past four years. And um, 
She has also was tortured in jail and she was beaten by the police in jail while she was arrested in 2006. She lost her unborn child due to the beatings that she suffered in jail. So we differed substantially with the consul upstairs who said that uh, there is due process in Chile. There is no due process when you have an anti-terrorist law that treats uh, certain people as criminals when the Mapuche people are not criminals, they're not terrorists, they're struggling for their rightful claim to the land that has been stolen from them.